way up past nil on that silver city highway on the dark run to broken hill. Oh, yeah, hey, how you going? Thanks for dropping by again. And uh, tonight we're on to track seven, track seven from Darkness Calling. And it's um, it's a song that's really important to me. It's a song called Why Australians. And um, the germination of this song came uh, in 2019. I I remember it was a it was December. It was a pretty hot night and I'd been walking the dog and I came back and I saw a um I saw a clip on my phone from um, Brendan Farrell of the Burrumbuttock Hay Runners and he was talking about um how tough it was in the land and how he'd been driving for about a hundred miles and he couldn't stop crying and that's because a bloke he know that he'd befriended um had just decided it was all too much and he'd he'd taken his own life and Brendan outlaid the story of how they met and and how they began this unlikely friendship and it was just so moving and compelling um and so sad and it is it sort of moved me to to start this song and this song I took very seriously I, I really wanted to get it right I wanted to get all the nuances right I wanted to get the story right so a lot of the times I'll just write down a song and, and sort of just take it straight away and it's done and that's it but for this one I wanted to get my facts right I wanted to get the feel and the mood so I, I worked on it for a couple of months um, just nuancing the lyrics and the, the phrasing and I took the liberty of, of changing the places but the rest of it's pretty much as he told in his story so he was um Bumper coordinates all the Burrumbuttock hay runners um, hay hay uh, trips. So they they it's a big charity organisation and they they run hay and sometimes dog food up to drought stricken areas of Queensland, North New South Wales, and um, it's a big 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 project. And I mean he doesn't he does it for nothing, but he um, he often looks pretty tired or distraught and. Um, this particular video really grabbed me and his story was that he was driving up north one day and he met this guy broken down by the side of the road and he gave him some assistance and in the back of his ute he saw what he said was the oldest pair of wire strainers he'd ever seen and um, he left the bloke some dog food in the back of his ute and I think um, got him a toe and went on his way and he um decided to check in on him from time to time and, and keep him, sort of keep him in his mind. And um, they became friends. He said he'd call him sometimes. He'd send him a little visa card or prepaid visa card or a little voucher when he could just to help him get by because he knew that this guy was alone. He didn't have a wife. He didn't have a family and he was doing it real tough. And um, it turns out one day he hadn't heard from him for a while and he was trying to get in touch and he couldn't. And then he heard that the guy in desperation had had um, taken his gun, culled his whole herd, and then turned it on himself. And it's a sad, sad story and an only too tragic tale of, of what our men and women face in tough times on the land. And it's a song, it's a theme I've explored before in Dust on the Wind and to a lesser degree, The Lucky Country, um, the rate of, of male suicide in our rural areas is quite shocking compared to the rest of the country. So um. It's something that's always been on my mind. And um, I, I wrote Why Strainers and it's on Darkness Calling. It's supported by a, an animated clip by a young bloke I met at the cafe who's studying at SAE and he's a graphic animator. And he's done an animated clip for us. His name's Campbell James and check it out on YouTube. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah, Why Strainers, I'll do it for you now. It's a song we've been playing for a couple of years, so you probably know it, but um, it never fails to move me, and um, I hope you enjoy. I had a lonely stretch, way up past nil. On that silver city highway on the dark run to Broken Hill Yeah, where 
I'm at no battler, doing it tough and in the back of his ute. The oldest pair of wire strainers the world ever knew. Well, I went on my way, but I could not shake the face of that bloke searching a wire strand by strand for the place where the cattle get through his hands, bad and bruised. But surely he knew it was so in vain Cause it never rains It never rains up here And the dust hangs in clouds When the water trucks come around It never rains Well a few weeks later I was Back up that way And I knew I could do A little something that might ease the strain Well they were shiny and new I left him with a note On his veranda that read If ever you need a friend And I hope it rains It never rains up here And the dust when the water trucks come around It never rains It never rains up here And the money's run out The government's ignoring the drought Sometimes I'd call, sometimes I'd write Sometimes I'd send a little something just to help him get by Then those three nights, he didn't answer the phone And I knew he lived alone, something didn't set right It never rains up here, it never rains It never rains It never rains up here And the money's run out Cause the government's ignoring the drought strainers there you go ladies and gentlemen and um, when it came time to record that one I knew I wanted some steel on it and um, I was aware of Ben Franz being I guess I met Ben first through playing with Mick but I knew that he played pedal steel I'd seen his name about the traps and I wanted some steel but I didn't really want particularly honky-tonk steel I didn't want any of anything to um, you know country and western I wanted some atmospheric stuff I wanted Trifford steel I wanted Evil Graham Lee steel and that was the brief I sent to him for that song I said um he play, he ended up playing steel on four songs on the album and he set, played some beautiful weepy country steel on a couple but on this one I wanted swells and atmospherics and I said I really want that Trifford steel and I don't know if anyone picks it up but the first line of the song I hit a lonely stretch that's um that's 
big debt to the Triffids right there, and, and so is the steel on this song, and I think he's done a wonderful job. So you can check it out on the Bandcamp. We've got CD, we've got vinyl, we've got coloured vinyl. There's two different T-shirt designs by Annie Walter. There's the art. And um, there's also some slip mats and some keyring torches for you all to, to check out. And we'd love your support. We're doing a pre-order campaign for this rather than a, than a crowdfunder. Um, crowdfunders, they're a lot of pressure. And I just thought, well, we'd try pre-order and try and get as many orders as we can in before the release date. And um, we'll try and fund the record that way. So we've got some great shows to announce soon. We're doing the launch at George Lane. And um, I'll be letting you know about the details of that very, very soon. And in the meantime, um, I hope you're well and you've enjoyed the series so far. And I'll see you tomorrow night for a little Sun Don't Shine. I wish that he felt he could have called out, give it all back just to hear his voice. But it never rained. It never rains up here, it never rains.